My name is Marquavius Meadows. I'm 19 years old and I grew up on the west side of Athens. Growing up in Pardo, um, where a lot of times people would have thought twice before entering, um, with a lot of our families living off of government subsidies and trying to have an easy life. One of the biggest things that it's taught me is taking whatever I'm good at and chasing that dream as a career and never giving up. Can't stop. People immediately think that men should be that provider or safeguarder. I mean, I haven't always had that father or man in my life that many people have had before that helps them get through that challenge. I know that like, I've only had brothers along this, my side to tell me what's right or wrong and how to do things. But as I got older, I, seen, I see why I, as my own man, have to provide in this because no one else will. I mean, working at West Broad Farmers Market has like really shown me how to not only like have a job, but sustain myself. Another opportunity that the farm has exposed me to is opening up my own business. I know a lot of people where I'm from has like been working those easy jobs, probably the jobs that you come straight back to your to your house to. I mean, working those jobs that's only in the kitchen, getting paid minimum wage, and for me to be exposed to having my own structure, the, for me to be my own boss even. It's just kind of cool that I just like really had the opportunity to make my own money the right way. My business was called The Birds and the Bees. It, it wasn't to be talking about sex or to expose your child, but it was to inform people of the like important thing of pollination. I sold bluebird houses, pollinator boxes, and flowers. And without those three, Majority of the food that we eat today wouldn't be accessible because of those critical animals or insects. Coach Cavan has been a big influence on my love and um, my passion for agriculture. Cavan has always been one of those teachers that's trying to make sure I'm staying on the right track. I mean, he knows where I've been through. He knows where I grew up at. He knows the things that I struggle with, I mean, the thing that I like about Kevin is he's not judging me on my flaws instead of looking into what I could become one day with a little bit of guidance and leadership. Another very important relationship that I developed during my high school career is with a man named Dennis McDaniel. Um, Dennis, put his, Dennis put himself in many situations that he didn't have to. A couple years back, he came through Pardo, where we were, and asked us, did we want to play football? And at the time, that's all we did was play basketball and football. It was very nonchalant. Um, with a couple more visits, I mean, a lot of people was just got more comfortable with them, and we acquired Dennis as somebody that would just help us out and that would usually just like be there for us. The quote that he told us daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, was what are you doing today that's gonna make you be the man that you wanna be tomorrow? Um, I know I still use and analyze this quote to this day because I'm definitely not the man that I wanna be. Dennis has not only influenced me, but many other dudes from where I'm from. Um, whether or not that's just been a man, a business leader, or a husband. I mean, you can always learn from Dennis himself. Many people think blacks are the only ones that face poverty or go through it, but Dennis has actually also li once lived the same situation, the scenarios or situations that we have been put upon. I mean, Dennis is like also like no food, no water. Where am I going to sleep? You know, many people just think that white people would have that easy going life, old money type of situation. And despite his color, you see that he was still a successful man that just started from the bottom, just like us. As a young boy, I've always enjoyed being around or always enjoyed fishing. Um, it always just like 
took me away from being around the same streets and people all the time, especially people that wouldn't always look forward towards the future. My senior year, I got a chance to be on a fishing team and where we would go out to Lanier and actually compete for against other high schools. And that really changed my perspective of the whole fishing concept because it's very different from going out and just having a good time than just like actually knowing what you're doing and the dynamics of what's actually happening underwater and with the reel or all of that good stuff. I think I figured out my calling probably a summer of fifth grade. Um, I went to a Church of God camp. There I met a guy, wouldn't have even thought, to, I mean, thought twice about saying hey to, but let alone like not try to hang out with. So just because like it was different, I, I really, at that point in time, I didn't really hang out with white people or different people outside of my race. But uh, we sat down and he knew something was wrong with me and he just kept on questioning me and and I told him about the recent or yeah recent experience that just like happened to me and, and that was my uncle breaking into our house and like I was literally there awakened in the middle of that robbery and that they just like kind of rolled over to the Church of God camp. And with him being there, I mean, it, him just like talking to me, telling me that maybe one day I'll be all right. I know you hear a lot of people saying that it's gonna be all right one day, but he really made me feel that God would have a plan. And at the time I wasn't a Christian, so he told me that like, I, was, I should get my life straight and set a clear path and have somebody that will be there for me all the time, not just some of the time. So eventually um, we went fishing together. I caught my first fish later that night. He was pushing me to go up on the altar and um, that's the time that I got saved. And if it wasn't really for him finding me like that, questioning me, I wouldn't be the man that I am today. So the biggest question is, what are you doing to make you be the man or woman that you want to be tomorrow? Another opportunity that the farm has exposed me to is opening up my own business, my own business, my own business, 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 business. business.